talk a little bit about the uh, solar eclipse new moon solar eclipse for those of us that are born in 1980 to 1981 more specifically January January 13th to 1980 to September 24th 1981 so when we talk about nodes in a nutshell um, your north node is your spirit's mission is why you came here and your south node would be your past life or what if you don't believe in past lives it's what you actually came into this life with or what was easy for you and um, a lot of astrologers will say you need to shed the south node so for those of us in between those dates that i mentioned it's imperative for us um to go ahead and look at what separates us sorry about the noise in the background what separates us and our talents and our gifts from others um, as I uh, like to say, what makes our ice colder, right? <clears throat> but it's really about focusing on our own. And um, if you're not born between those dates, then you want to cast a chart. You can go to Cafe Astrology, which is a really, they have a really easy chart system to read. Um, but it doesn't show it as a wheel. So if you want to look at it as a wheel, then you can go to, hey Zoe, oh, uh, you can go to um, astrotheme.com. So... And then you want to look at where Leo falls in your chart. And right across from Leo will be Aquarius. So when we talk about the North Node and fulfilling this mission, I mean, I guess I would have to say, when we talk about the original place of the North Node, that is in Leo. And, and so Leo being ruled by the sun, uh, we really want to shine. And... The good thing about this energy is that it's the second new moon in Leo. I know I missed the first moon, new moon in Leo. And so think of it as life giving you a second chance. If you're in a mundane job, if you don't really um, like what you're doing, because a lot of us will just go with getting a job or getting a, uh, a career that is going to, you know, have benefits and that sort of thing. And there's nothing wrong with that. But also you want to um, set your affections on a business or some sort of service that you can provide but um, again Leo being uh, ruled by the Sun um, it being our time to shine and children it can also have to do with children so if you don't want to have any children especially if Leo falls in your fifth house um, you want to be very careful also with Ceres being in cancer that's that whole mother energy but um, I guess if you if you um, if you cast your chart and you can post a picture of it, I can give you a little bit of detail on your chart. I'm not going to stay on this long because I really talked about a lot of it in the solar eclipse video. And I'm not really up to talking that much. I just wanted to do um, some sort of video. Oh, so when we talk about Aquarius, I don't know if there's anybody who has Aries rising. If you're an Aries rising, which you can be any sign of the zodiac because <clears throat> that's just specifically your sun sign. Um, and I don't want to get into all the other planets, but basically at the time of your birth, if you're not aware, all the planets were lined up in a certain um, house and they have a certain energy under a certain sign. So <clears throat> with that being said, you could possibly be an Aries rising. So I'm an Aries rising. So if you know your birth time, you can definitely find out what your ascendant or rising sign is. So if you happen to be one, then this is going to fall in your fifth house, this new moon solar eclipse. And that would have to do with teaching what you enjoy doing. It's about creativity. It's about um, the sun is giving us the drive to um, achieve our goals um, and that sort of thing. So, I'm sorry, now my kids want to act like jackasses. That one's not my kid in the background, though. Um, could you stop voice playing? I'm in the middle of a live video. So, what are you doing? So... Anyway, point being what sets us apart. Aquarius has to do with the 11th house. And the 11th house has to do with social media and networking. And um, 
our networks and how we come across to others. So if you're anything like me and you run your mouth a lot on social media and you have very heavy views, and I don't think many of you really do that on your pages, um, you want to be very mindful of what you're posting in front of people who can be your potential clients. And again, more specifically where, the, uh, where Aquarius falls in your chart. Aquarius is also about uh, innovation. It's about um, rebellion, revolution. And uh, uh, as I said in the solar eclipse video, when we're talking about evolution and we look at the etymology of the word, it uh, pertains to, or uh, its original meaning has to do with celestial bodies, is celestial bodies. So we can look at it as how the celestial bodies are actually affecting us um, on the plane right now. So it's just really about, you know, utilizing your gift. And um, that's gonna be from now until next August. Because we'll have another eclipse in, I'm thinking February. We'll have a new moon in Aquarius and a full moon in Leo. So you would want to, you will want to start any projects um, that set yourself apart from now and work diligently on them um, from now through the next six months. And um, really, if you've already had an idea, and I know I jump around a lot, but um, that's how my mind works. <laughs> if you have had any ideas in the past. Um, that you know you're kind of like oh well i don't think that'll work it will work if it's something that's really been heavy you know in your heart um just plant the seed and we have mercury retrograde right now and a few other planets are also retrograde so retrograde is not a time to start something new per se um so the interesting thing about that is there's something that you've already started or that you've already thought of um that you you should just go ahead and follow through on um at least setting the groundwork you know depending on what it is so that's pretty much all I have right now. My mind is all over the place and I'm missing my doggy and whatnot. So I hope you guys all have an amazing solar eclipse. If you have any questions, I'm more than willing to answer them. You can inbox me um, and that sort of thing. All right, everybody have a great day. And my next, um, well, my first series on IG is going to be what I admire and loathe about each sign. So that should be fun. All right, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's Chi Ether. It's X I I E T H E R. All right, bye. Oh, no. oh, no.